All right, time to get me some wood. Num, 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 num. Um, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Hello, pick breakers and sheep punchers. This is Jury Duty Summons. And today, I'd like to show you the trap of the exploding tree. Hmm. All right, so first of all, what you need to do is uh, take out a little bit of trunk here. And that gives you access to a point under the tree. Right below is where you want to start digging down from. You know, dig a couple down. Uh, I get the rock here, that's fine. All right, and at this point, you just got to decide how much TNT you want down there. This is going to completely tell you, um, going to completely change how much the explosion is going to be. And so for this one, I'm going to make it big. Nice full, full TNT, or a whole full of TNT here. Because when it comes to explosions, I like me explosions. All right, got some pressure plates. So we, um, we're abusing here the fact that wooden pressure plates will set off TNT, will, will um, power no matter what falls on them. So even if it's just a log, it'll set off the TNT. All right, so you put the, put the trunk back on the tree. And when your unsuspecting uh, logger comes by, well, <laughs> there we go. Doesn't always work great. <laughs> but when it does, it works great. So anyway, the, yeah, the weakness of that is that sometimes the logs don't fall the way you want. Um, but that's okay. A, a good percentage of the time, the person mining the logs is going to be, um, or chopping the logs rather, is just going to be walking up against the tree and is probably not going to even pay attention to what's below them. So they may even actually step on the trap, even if the log doesn't fall in it. But in either event, you can make them look twice next time they uh, chop down a tree. <laughs> Alright, that's it for me. Have a nice evening, folks.